In 1971, Denny Crum left his alma mater, UCLA, and his mentor, John Wooden, to take over the basketball program at the University of Louisville. U of L and this city would never be the same. In year one, he took the cards to the Final Four. To be in your first Final Four and your first year of coaching, uh, at the time, that show you how dumb I was? You thought this is easy I thought this, this is year. supposed, to, that's the way it's supposed to be every that, year. Because I UCLA, was at yeah. UCLA as an assistant. Golly, it was, uh, it was a great start to a wonderful career. And in 1975, they went back, this time losing again to Wooden and the Bruins in the semifinals. The Wizard of Westwood announced after that game that he planned to retire after the national championship game. I remember it as well as anything, but it, it, we lost to Coach Wooden. And if, if, if I was going to lose to someone, I wanted it to be him. I sort of feel like the 75 team sort of set, set the stage, and then the 80 team came and, 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 did the, and took it to the next level. But I grew up with the 75 team, you know, going over to Crawford Gym, me and Bobby Turner when we were in high school, and playing against some guys and getting our bus kicked. And then in 1980, it happened. This was it. The Doctors of Dunk won the national championship. During that tournament run, Tony Branch hit a buzzer-beating game winner against Kansas State. Crum had enlisted the help of the greatest of all time when he was recruiting Branch. Muhammad had offered to help us, and I had him call Tony, and he, and he said, is this Tony Branch from Michigan City? He said, he said well, this is Muhammad Ali from Louisville, Kentucky. And he says, if you don't come here and go to school, I'll box your ears. <laughs> That's what Muhammad told, told Tony, and of course he did, and, and he was a, a, a big factor. Led by Louisville native Daryl Griffith, UofL beat UCLA 59-54 in that title game. I told the kids at halftime that it would be a shame uh, for them to have a chance to play in a championship game like this and, and play as poorly as they had played. I, say, I said, You're, you don't get this opportunity very often. You ought to uh, readjust your thinking and come out and play the, the best second half of basketball that you've ever played, and you win this game. And that's exactly what happened. The cards went back to the Final Four in 1982, and then in 1983, they got there by beating arch-rival Kentucky in the Dream Game in Knoxville, Tennessee, an 80-68 to overtime win that laid the groundwork for the current annual series. You can thank John Y. Brown for that. He, he's the one that told uh, the University of Kentucky that they would play Louisville every year. One last Final Four trip in 1986. This time, the Cards, led by freshman Purvis, never nervous Ellison, beat number one Duke 72 to 69 for the title. We had some things that we could do that they couldn't handle, and we saved them for the last eight and a half minutes of that game, and we dominated them at that point. Denny Crum was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1994. And in 2001, after 30 years on the UofL bench, Crum retired from coaching. And the fact that I, they've allowed me to stay here for 30 years tells you about I think, one, how they feel about me, and the fact that I stayed uh, tells you that, that it was my love because there's no question I could have made a whole lot more money if that was the issue some other place. But that's never what I wanted to do. I wanted to be here, and I have been, and I feel very fortunate uh, to have had that opportunity. His 675th and final win came over a John Calipari-coached Memphis team in Freedom Hall. At that time, I, I 
John Calipari didn't have the same reputation that he has now, uh, and rightfully so. I mean, he's done a great job uh, in all aspects of, of our game. After coaching, Crum never left his adopted home. His Denny Crum Scholarship Foundation has raised and granted thousands of dollars to U of L students over the years. It's a late, been a labor of love. We've raised all our money with the events. We we've done it just with. Uh, I fix potato soup. I make pizza. Uh, we have cornhole tournaments. And the court at the KFC Yum Center bears his name and signature. For me, it's, it's their way of honoring me. They're saying, hey, I appreciate you and what you do and what you've done. He won 675 games in his 30 seasons, took the cards to six Final Fours, and won those two national championships. Born in California, but Denny Crum was Louisville. I couldn't make myself leave Louisville. I just, the people here, their love for basketball, uh, how nice they were to me and how much fun it was uh, to be a part of something that uh, people appreciated. I mean, it was, uh, for me, it was a no-brainer. As much as I loved UCLA and still do, uh, I, I'm just so happy and glad that I made the decision to stay here and coach and retire here and participate in my scholarship foundation and all the charity events that, that Susan and I do. Uh, I mean, it's, I made the right decision.